This was the moment the world counted down to a new decade, a new future. As the clock struck midnight, the world celebrated the start of 2020. Hugging, cheering, and happiness as fireworks lit up the London skyline as they marked the beginning of a new future. Or so we thought. On the other side of the world, a catastrophe was brewing. A viral pneumonia outbreak. Well, that is what authorities thought. Come down with pneumonia in a major city in western China, and officials don't know why. They know it wasn't caused by flu, and they have traced it to a food market. Officials now worry that traveling patients could spread the disease. Chinese officials are advising 11 million people at the center of an outbreak of a new virus to stay where they are for the Lunar New Year holiday to avoid spreading it. People in Wuhan have been asked not to leave the city and outsiders have been told to stay away. The sad news. We weren't prepared. We weren't prepared for such a scenario. Chinese authorities tried to fight the mystery illness. Believed to have originated in the Hunan seafood market in central Wuhan. Wuhan. This city, the size of London. A major transport hub, located in the Hubei province of China. Things started to get worse by February. Other countries began to get cases of this illness. A short while later, we found out. We found the cause of the illness, the culprit. A new coronavirus, never seen before. Almost identical to severe acute respiratory syndrome. SAR. By the time we found out, it was too late. The virus started to grow uncontrollable. Even the lockdown that Wuhan implemented didn't work. This timeline shows the spread of this deadly disease in January 2020. This would mark the very start of a global disaster. Planes trains, lockdowns, social distancing, restrictions on crowding, and a whole bunch more. The World Health Organization, WHO, named the virus COVID-19. The main symptoms, a continuous cough, a fever, and a loss of taste or smell. Different countries handled the virus in different ways. Some ways were worse than others. Some countries had the worst response in the world such as the UK and the United States. Cases surged in the United States. There are now over 19,819,857 active coronavirus cases in the U.S. The problem is, this virus is still not over. It may be with us forever, or until we eradicate the virus. Like polio, vaccines may help, but there will still be small cluster outbreaks of the disease. These outbreaks will affect people who are not vaccinated. Please, follow the rules. Protect the people you love. We know that you are all fed up, sick of the rules, getting more agitated with each passing day, feeling isolated, lonely, and overall feeling awful every single day, looking at the news, wishing this crisis would end and maybe even crying when you see the daily death toll. It will end. It always will. Keep fighting. Stay strong. To everyone. We all thank you. For your sacrifices. Let's unite. Together we can stop this thing. Thank you to all. 
all the frontline healthcare workers and all of the other essential workers keeping our planet on its feet. As we battle this virus, 